guys I just put on a little bit of makeup and I just washed my hair like probably an hour ago I let it mostly air dry and then it was still a little damp and I'm pretty much ready to do it so I blow dried it for probably like a minute and a half or two minutes and then it's dry now but I thought I would show you how I do my hair or curl it because ever since I cut it short I do it totally different than when it was long because I started out doing it the same way and I looked like Shirley Temple which She's cute and all, but I'm not trying to go for like the Shirley Temple look. So it was just way too curly the way that I used to do it. So I have been doing it a little differently. And someone asked if I would show how I've been doing my short hair. My battery's flashing, so hopefully this lasts for a while. But I use the same curling iron. It's just the Conair 1 in 1 fourth inch. And before, I would use the clamp for like every curl that I did. But now I don't because that's what made it extra curly and now I kind of just want it a little wavier so I kind of just let my part fall pretty much wherever it goes because it always goes in the same spot. And then I start on this side and I get a piece, I don't do the front piece first, I don't know why, but I always start with like the second piece back and take about this much hair and then I just wrap it around the curling iron and don't use the clamp and... I wrap it away from my face. Then I just do this on pretty much all of the top layer of my hair. I don't section it off and separate it while I'm doing my hair. Hair. I just burned my finger. I have burned my fingers so many times since having my hair short. So here's the first wave. So I basically do this to this piece, this front little section, and then the one on the other side of it, I do going towards my face because I think it looks better. And then the rest of them, Back here, I do going away. And then the bottom layer underneath, I curl with the clamp. I'll just show you how I do it because I feel like my battery is just going to die. So underneath, I just do it all back, like away from my face on both sides. And I do it like this. And I do try to leave just a tiny bit out at the end. I don't know if you can even see it. But I leave a tiny bit out at the end and then straighten it. Okay, just switched out the battery because it died, but I'll probably just do the rest of this like a montage so that it's not super long, but so that you can see it. And I will say that it always looks better the second day after I do it. Like when I wash my hair, it's so puffy that day still from just like being washed and dried. done other than like finishing touches but I'm gonna start on this side I do the exact same thing I'm done with curling so now I'm just gonna take the straightener and just go over the very bottom of all the pieces of hair just quickly because it's not too bad. I definitely spent more time doing this when my hair was longer, but now it doesn't matter as much. Okay, here's the finished product. And I didn't spend a huge amount of time on any imperfections today just because I'm pretty much just doing stuff around the house. And the only reason I even did my hair is because Quinn is actually over at my parents' house with them. and. Um, it's easier to do stuff like this when she's not here because I don't want to like have to stop and start a million times if she Isn't happy or whatever um, while I'm doing my hair Quinn is at my mom's because my mom offered to watch her for a few hours this morning because I just feel like I've been getting Nothing done and I've also hardly been getting any sleep because I think Quinn is in some kind of a sleep regression right now She just turned seven months um like 10 days ago and she never went through like a four month regression or six month which i think those are popular times for babies to do that and maybe we could have given her the extra two months from being preemie for that i don't know like what all areas that applies to i know it does for like um hitting milestones and skills but i don't know if something like sleep regression would also be included in that she's always been such a good sleeper and obviously at the beginning when we first brought her home and she was newborn, there were some sleepless nights, but for the most part, she's been a very good sleeper. This past week though, she has been waking up so much in the night, and I don't know why, and I'll feed her, and she'll go back to sleep, but then a couple hours later, she's up again. So it has to be some kind of a sleep regression. Like, it's not anything I'm worried about because I think this is totally normal for babies to go through, but all that to say, I've been getting like no sleep. And then this one was throwing up in his crate at 5.30 this morning. <laughs> 
So that woke me up and then Quinn woke up at 6.30 and she ended up going back to sleep but I already had my alarm set for like 7.30 so I, I was like, I'm just gonna get up and take my shower. I'm gonna try to get some stuff done. I am gonna pick her up in a couple hours because I don't want her to be over there all day and I wanna spend time with her obviously but I just need to like get a few things done here because it's such a busy week again, as I've said. I just made myself this chai tea to hopefully give me some energy. This is what it is. I was at my friend Yasmina's house the other day and she had this and made me one and it was so good. And she had another thing of concentrate. So she gave it to me because it's from Trader Joe's, which I don't have, which is so sad. But if you do have Trader Joe's and you like chai tea, this is so good. You just use one part of the concentrate and then two parts milk, which, or cream, whatever you want to use. I just put unsweetened almond milk and it tastes perfect. Look at Ace's pile of legs. That's hilarious. Is that comfortable, boy? So in my last video, when I was talking about the cotton candy grapes from Trader Joe's, somebody commented and asked if I knew that Trader Joe's and Aldi were like the same company or owned by the same people or whatever. And yes, I did know that. And that's like my only hope because a lot of times, um, Aldi will end up getting things that Trader Joe's has. For instance, the cotton candy grapes, and there have been other things too, I don't remember what, but things that I've seen people show in Trader Joe's hauls that we didn't have at Aldi, and then Aldi will end up getting them. So, hopefully, Aldi will end up getting this chai tea, because if they do, it will become a staple in my house. I'm gonna get some stuff done on the computer right now. This was my thumbnail, I just put up this video yesterday. If you haven't seen it, it's one of my favorite videos ever because there was just so much fun stuff that happened in it. But I don't have a video that I'm working on right now, but tomorrow I'm gonna be filming one. So I think I'm gonna get everything that I need ready for that video. I made this list on my phone of stuff that I wanted to do while Quinn was at my mom's. So start on my decor video, organize. I It says organize every video. I have like a little folder that I just titled every video and I basically put everything that I use in every single video in that folder and then I import it to each video as I'm making it. So like any sound effects that I use, my end card, stuff that goes in every single video. And that way I don't have to go pull all of those things out of random folders when I'm editing. I can just download that one folder that has everything that I need. Anyway, my every video folder has gotten super messy just from putting random stuff in there that I thought I would use in every video and I don't. Then I wanna go on my channel and organize some more playlists. If you don't know, I have a lot of playlists already um, just for different things like baby. I have a whole baby playlist if you wanna watch baby videos. I think I have a Christmas playlist, travel playlist, just a bunch of things, but I wanna make one for fall and there was another one I wanted to do too. I don't remember what. We'll see how much of this I actually get to. I also need to do some laundry and just other random things. <laughs> Okay, it's been a couple hours and I got quite a bit done on the computer, but I still have a lot more to do. I have like a little over an hour though before I'm picking Quinn up, so I thought I would start on our dinner because I'm making chili in the crock pot. So I have my ground beef cooking in here and I mentioned this when I did my grocery haul where I bought the ground beef, but I hardly ever, ever buy ground beef, like maybe once or twice a year and it's usually for chili. The curl in my hair has already fallen out so much and it's just because this is the first day that I like washed it, dried it, and curled it. Tomorrow when I curl it, it'll stay in a lot better though. But anyway, I love eating chili in the fall and winter. I love chili dogs too, that's what Eric likes better, but I just like the chili by itself or like with cornbread, which I think I have cornbread that I can make for dinner too. This is my chili recipe. I love it so much, it's the best. I never show myself when I chop onions. <laughs> Everything's mixed in the crock pot and it's probably about to smell really good in here in about an hour. I'm still recovering from my onion chopping, but I'm about to do a little bit more work on the computer and then in less than an hour, I'm gonna go pick up Quinn. I miss her so much. I'm getting a lot done, but I miss her and I feel guilty that I'm not with her.
You'll never guess where we are. Just kidding, you will guess. We're at Home Depot again. We were already here all the time, just ever since we got married really from all the house projects we've done, but lately we've been here extra from getting stuff to redo the living room. Look at that little cutie. She's wearing the cutest little outfit. Hi. Did you go to Grammy's house today? Somebody commented on my last video where I gave my mom the book from Quinn and I had said, Quinn calls my mom Grammy. And somebody commented, Quinn can't talk, can she? And no, she can't talk. I just said that because that's what we will have her call my mom eventually. And that's what we call my mom to Quinn. But Quinn definitely can't say Grammy yet, can you? You grabbing my shirt? Oh no, she's reaching for the camera. <laughs> That's so cute. Eric got a glass sheet for the picture frames that he's making for me. We also are getting a TV mount so we can put the TV on the wall instead of on the TV stand. We stopped at Dunkin' Donuts. Great lighting, but this is a pumpkin, decaf pumpkin iced coffee. I look like I have a visor on my face. <laughs> we just got back home and it's time for some chili. I'm so excited for this. I never ended up making my cornbread and I wish I would have, but I just ran out of time. Comment below what you guys put in your chili. I only ever put shredded cheese and growing up, that's what my family always put. We just put shredded cheese and then it would melt in the chili. But then I had chili with my friends at one of my like small groups um, a couple falls ago and my friends all said they put sour cream in their chili and so I tried it and it's so good but since it's not as healthy and I like it so much with just cheese I didn't put sour cream this time I don't even have any here but let me know what you guys put in yours or if there's anything else that you like to put in your chili Quinn baby fell asleep on the way home so I just have her sitting right here in the car seat and I never leave her in the car seat I'm like super strict about that I take her out even if she's sleeping but since she's hardly been sleeping for any of her naps hardly been sleeping at night and she's just been extra fussy um since she's actually sleeping i decided to leave her in there and just set her right in front of me so i can see her and i can tell that she's breathing but normally i would not do this guys it's the next day and this is the first time I'm vlogging anything and it's already 5 30 but it's just been a crazy day I'm at my parents house I'm making some dinner right now and I'm making a meal from Green Chef and it looks so yummy I'm making this orange sesame chicken salad so I already have a bunch of this stuff um, chopped up and ready to mix together and then I have the chicken cooking it smells so good it's like orange chicken which I've never made before I will show you the finished product when I'm done though Here's the finished product of the salads. They look so good. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the best salad I've ever made in my life. I'm gonna talk more about the meal kit in another video coming up, or maybe it'll already be up by the time you see this, but I can't wait to eat these. They're gonna be, well, I'm not eating both, <laughs> but they're gonna be really good. I'm done with all my cooking, and I know I already said that that salad was so good, but that was like next level, like restaurant salad. So I actually have some sad news, and I don't even wanna say it because it's just sad, and I don't like to put sad things in the vlog, even though I know people like to keep it real, but I feel like I can't just go on like this whole week has been normal when stuff has been happening. So you guys know we love to come to my parents' house all the time, hang out with my family. We do the same with Eric's family. I just don't usually vlog it when we're over there, but we're over there all the time too. It probably seems like just a normal night that we're at my parents' house, but the reason we technically came over tonight is because last night my dad was riding his motorcycle and somebody hit him. We weren't originally planning on coming over tonight, but we came over to see him. So he has a long road of recovery ahead, but he I can't even believe he's home already. I'm glad we can see him because while he was at the hospital, they were only letting one person go up to see him and it would have had to be the same person the whole time. So I was thinking like, I'm not gonna get to see him for a week or whatever, but Jacqueline and Mark are actually coming back in town tomorrow so they can see him. I can't even believe it happened. I freaked out when my mom called me last night to tell me that he got hit. After probably like an hour of getting the news and everything sinking in, I'm just like thinking, so many thoughts going through my head, so thankful that he's alive 
and that he's responsive and all of a sudden I just got actual anger inside because every day I pray for him to be safe and specifically riding his motorcycle because I don't even know if I've even mentioned in my videos that he rides motorcycles, but that is his life. If it's not snowing outside, you can just pretty much bet he's out on his motorcycle. So every day I specifically pray for him to be safe on his motorcycle. Then he got hit by a car and I literally had like anger. I think that's the first time I've ever felt like actual anger almost at God, I guess. And it was so weird because all of a sudden I felt that and then all of a sudden, like, in my mind, I just thought, but it could have been so much worse. Like, what if I hadn't prayed? It could have been so much worse. Maybe because I was praying, and I'm sure my whole family prays for him to be safe every day, maybe that's why he's alive. And yes, he has injuries, but we're just so thankful that he's here. Anyway, I just feel like I've gotten so much bad news this week. And on top of that, not sleeping. Also last night, I was like, I'm already not gonna be hardly sleeping after hearing all this stuff about my dad, even knowing that he was okay. And then Quinn, I went to bed at one. Quinn woke up at two, three, five, and six. So I literally did not sleep last night. And this is probably one of those videos that I'll probably post and then never watch again, but I can't just keep making happy videos and pretending. I feel like I'd be lying if I didn't let you guys know like, my life is not perfect. Things happen to every single person in this world and say a prayer for my dad if you think about it, that he'll heal quickly. I already know, he's not gonna stop riding motorcycles. <laughs> as soon as he's healed, he's gonna be right back on a motorcycle. Anyway, I'm gonna go back inside and hang out with my family and just be very thankful that we're all here and together. Making some cookies with my mom. I'm just the taste tester. <laughs> Did she not wanna be on the floor? No. <laughs> the dough is better. I also forgot to tell you guys that I dropped my vlog camera at home so bad. I stuck it. <laughs> what? She's laughing that I have dough waiting to go in my mouth. I stuck it in the top of the diaper bag and had the diaper bag sitting on the table. I thought that I zipped the diaper bag, so I picked up the strap and went to like sling it over my shoulder so hard because it was heavy and it wasn't zipped and the camera went flying onto the tile floor. <laughs> Hi guys, it's the next day, it's already 7 p.m. and Eric and I have been working all day on redecorating our living room. And the living room decorating video is gonna be going up so much later than I originally said it would be. And I regret saying it was coming next so bad now because basically I ordered a lamp to come in here and I didn't end up ordering it till today because it was sold out. But I feel like the lamp is gonna make such a big difference in this room that I don't even wanna post the video till I actually have the lamp and it's not coming for over 10 days. So we're gonna have everything else done in here, but I'm not gonna post the video until the lamp comes because I want it to be in the video. That's probably dumb, but if I'm redecorating my living room and the lamp is one of my favorite things in it, I'm not gonna post a living room decorating video without it. So all that to say, you'll probably be seeing this video before the living room decor video too. And by the time you see this, it'll be less than 10 days before I get the lamp, but today it's gonna be like 10 days before I get it, over 10 days. I'm not gonna show any more of the progress in here, but the reason I'm even vlogging tonight even though it's already so late is because we're about to paint our kitchen well I think I'm probably gonna do most of the painting because Eric's gonna be working on um, building a shelf and stuff in the garage so and it's super easy because we're literally painting the walls and the ceiling all the same color so I'm not even gonna have to tape anything well I will have to tape a little bit by the cabinets it is such a mess in here right now I can't believe I'm even showing this because this is not okay with me but we just took that out of the living room most of the bags on this table have home decor in them that is going in the living room but I can't put it up till tomorrow that's when all my stuff will be ready to be decorated in here and a little dog that wants to go outside you were just out there. Why do you want to go out again? Eric and I just got home from Home Depot a few minutes ago and there was a cat in the backyard. So I'm not very okay with letting him out except that he was just out there and he didn't come back to the door with the cat in his mouth. So I'm guessing the cat probably ran away when we let Ace out, but it's dark and cold and I don't really feel like going to search the yard for the cat. It wasn't a kitten, so it could probably defend itself if he tried to do anything to it. I just started taping in the corner over there, but we are so excited to paint in here. Every time I would vlog, it would just look so yellow because the walls are so cream that they're almost yellow. They're not yellow, but it's like such a dark cream that it looks yellow on camera a lot of times. And then that wall is green. It's green like all above the cabinets. 
and then back over here it's like cream again so it's just super random we've never put anything up on this wall that i can think of and also we're gonna take this strip off which we are so excited about because it's just so random and i don't know it just doesn't go on here there was one in here when we first moved in too there was like a dark wooden strip along that back wall that was one of the first things we did in this house was take that strip off also you can't even tell how bad it is in person but the walls in here are so shiny you can tell a little bit right there but we always make jokes about that we can like see ourselves in the walls because they're so shiny it's definitely like a, the sheen was like a gloss or something like extreme gloss <laughs> which i think that's to prevent scuffing and stuff like that oh i would rather have a couple scuffs that i have to fix every once in a while than this shiny of walls personally and i don't know what the people that used to live here had on this wall but there's always been holes just like all over and there's a bunch behind the chalkboard too another thing that i try to never show in the vlogs is this ceiling fan first of all it's not really pretty but i don't think i have ever cleaned this since we moved in which is so embarrassing i always tell myself we're getting a new one so i'll just wait to clean it well it's been five years and we've literally done every room in the house except the kitchen except for the cabinets so here my ceiling fan sits super dirty we already have canned lights in the garage sitting in there that eric's gonna put in the kitchen eventually um but we just haven't put them in yet and when we do that He's gonna take this fan out and we're gonna put in a fan that is just a fan without the lights because I just feel like when it has the big lights and it's a big fan already, it just makes the room feel way smaller. We don't know when we're gonna do that. At some point we will. I have never exposed myself more. This was me being lazy like four years ago when painting the trim. I literally left the brown wooden trim behind the table to save myself some time. I also just knocked a candle off and it broke, so I need to clean that up. Hi! <laughs> you showing everyone your foot? Hi, Ace. This is Squish and Fluff. Squish and Fluff. It's been a few days since I vlogged last and I have no idea what the last thing I said was but I'm feeling so much I was editing this video that you're watching a little bit last night and even now I feel so much better than I did in the rest of this video it's still been so busy and stressful and stuff but I don't know I felt like I just got so much bad news at the beginning of the week and now like time heals things even though it's been a few days and my dad is doing super well i mean he still has a lot of recovering to do but he's doing well he actually wanted to go to church this morning since jacqueline and mark are here we were all gonna go and we asked if he wanted to go and i thought he might not want to go but he's sick of being in the house and he wanted to go part of me doesn't even want to post this video anymore just because i feel like i don't feel the way that i felt at the beginning so i don't want anyone to be like feeling sad after they watch it or anything at the same time those were real things that happened and that was real life and now things are looking more positive and it's the start of a new week i don't think i'm gonna do a channel recommendation or a shout out but i will recommend something else but basically i don't want anyone to feel like their shout out was in a sad video or their channel recommend was recommended in a sad video or something so i thought i would recommend some worship music that i've really been liking i know there are a lot of people that watch my channel that aren't christians or don't listen to worship music but there are a lot that do too so if you don't i'll be back to my regular shout outs and channel recommendations in the next few videos but i thought i would recommend some worship music because i'm super picky i don't like a lot of worship music someone that i do like to listen to and that i've actually been listening to so much this week to just like kind of try to make myself think positive and think about good things and focus on i don't know brighter things is vertical worship i like almost all of their music and i definitely recommend it i'll put some songs on the screen that i really like by them like a few of my favorites for the most part if i turn on their station on spotify i like most of the songs and a lot of times with other stations i'll just end up like skipping through so many of them or whatever and this with vertical worship i don't feel like i do that as much so if you're looking for good <laughs> worship music and don't listen to them already um you should check them out my battery's flashing so i'm gonna try to end this before it runs out but i will see you guys in a couple days with another video. Bye guys. Say bye. Oh, sneak peek of my home decor. That shelf is actually coming down. <laughs> We're putting another one up like as soon as Eric comes in the house. Okay, bye.